Hey, what is up everybody? So I decided to make this video because it is a recent fix that I did to open my NAT. Um, I do want to specify, however, that this is a hit and miss type of situation. It might or may, may or may not work for you. Uh, so this worked for me, but I do want to also say it worked and then it didn't work. So every method that I'm going to explain in this video uh, has worked for me. But then an update comes out or I restart or turn off my computer and then I have to do a different method. It only happens with Call of Duty. I don't know why it's like that. Honestly, it's a hassle. I've been doing this for days, weeks, months. Um, but yeah, let's get started with this method that I recently used. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the steps here. Hopefully you can see them as I go along. So you're going to go ahead and click the Windows logo on your keyboard or the search bar. And then you're going to go ahead and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and open that. Go ahead and click on Advanced Settings. You're going to go ahead and go to Inbound Rules. If you have a Call of Duty rule already here, you can go ahead and delete it. We're going to create a new create a new rule. Keep the bubble under Program. Click Next. Go to this program path and click Browse. You're going to want to go ahead and look for your Modern Warfare application. Uh, it might be in a different location, but mine is under Local Disk, Program Files, and then Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So go ahead and open it. Click Next. You're going to allow the connection. Make sure that the domain, private, and public are all on. I'm going to go ahead and turn them off, just turn them back on, whatever. Click Next. Go ahead and call this whatever you want. I'll put Call of Duty. And then you can add a description if you want, but basically that's it. You're basically done. Uh, make sure your Call of Duty game is closed. And then go ahead and uh, launch it again. And hopefully this method works for you. It worked for me for about a week. And then that's it. It went back to strict. So I might have to figure out something else. And... Um, do something else hopefully it works but I mean at this point honestly it's a very big hassle I hope that for black ops it's a little different um, if this video did help you out I do appreciate a like and subscription I don't post too often um, very busy this is more of a hobby I have a lot of school um, but that's it if you want to remain for the next part of the video I'm gonna go ahead and explain other methods that I've also used I won't go into too much detail mainly because um, super tired but yeah let me go ahead and get started on that let's close this close this um okay so first and foremost uh, you're gonna want to open the application go under options uh, go ahead and check for updates mine's up to date okay make sure you're in the correct region that you're playing in I'm in America so that's another one if that doesn't work, go ahead and scan and repair. And now if that doesn't work, uninstall the game and reinstall it. The next method is you're going to go ahead and go to the Windows logo, right click, and then you're going to click on Device Manager. Go to Display Adapters, right click on your uh, CPU, go ahead and update the driver. Mine's already updated. Go ahead and try to update your graphics card. Mine's already updated. So let's go back to our notes. So as you can see here, we already did these two. The next one, firewall, basically what you want to do is you want to make sure that your file firewall isn't blocking the Call of Duty program or whatever game you're trying to do. So you're going to go ahead and basically add the program um, and give it permission. For my example, under Norton, I can add the program and then select allow, block, or create a custom uh, rule. So I just basically clicked allow and that's it. Hopefully that works for you. If that doesn't work for you, the next step is to log into your router. You're going to go ahead and do that by um, grabbing the IP for your router. There are different. Um, you can just go ahead and Google the IP and uh, it should appear for you. 
once you log into your router it's gonna basically ask you for the username and the password if you haven't switched them they're gonna be uh, default so you're gonna want to Google that because it'll tell you you know it's this or that and I believe for mine I get three tries and then I get locked out for like five minutes so go ahead and look after that uh, usually username is admin and then the password is usually password if not it can be admin but like I said it depends on your router so once you're logged in you're gonna go ahead and go for for my example it's under advanced settings uh, you're gonna want to go ahead and turn this UPnP on and I'm gonna go ahead and try to describe what this means uh, based on how I learned it I I didn't know nothing about this until I started going into it trying to fix this uh, UPnP basically is a default option for your router to allow basically your computer or your connection um, to play with video games so if your game needs a connection here and there your UPN will automatically do it for you now if that doesn't work and you have it enabled you do or you create a static IP a static IP is basically a permanent IP which doesn't switch usually your IP um, switches once a week it depends and then um, every time it switches I believe you have to create what are called ports if you create a static IP you don't have to keep uh, opening those same ports they'll, they'll just stay open you'll just do it one time and you'll be good to go so once you have your static IP uh, for this you can google it watch another video it's not that hard but I'm not gonna show it um, you're gonna go ahead and open your ports opening ports depends on your router usually you can find it within your router you just go to open ports and then um, you open your ports so for example for PC the first port is 3074 and it's under TCP and UDP um, for my example you have to log into Cox and um, open the port and then there's a drag down arrow that says UDP TCP TCP slash UDP so since it's on both I went ahead and used TCP slash UDP and I have the number for the next one it's 3470 or something like that I don't remember that's a UDP and I only know this because I did it so many times and um, you know same thing just make sure it's the appropriate one uh, sometimes you'll get or I mean for sure you'll get a range which means you have to put the first number and then you know two the next number and then you put TCP UDP whatever it is um, for some routers it's a little longer I'll say like beginning and then end, beginning and then end and it's basically the same thing if it's 3074 you're gonna put 3074 in each little box if it's a range you're gonna put from this to this and then again from this to this as far as I remember or what I researched um, what else what else I want to make sure I give you all the information I can all right ports 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 oh, okay so if you have an Xbox and you have a PC or you have an Xbox and a PS4 and you want to open the same ports I believe you have to create what is called a bridge which basically lets your computer say hey I need the same port on these two systems so I'm gonna make it okay for you to open the same port um, that's called the bridge it should be under the router as well um, I didn't do that myself but um, you can find a video on that what else what else what else if you're putting a port and it says that you already have it it means that you already have it somewhere so you're gonna have to either delete it or edit it um, in some examples or some routers that I saw you can't have let's say port 27,000 to 27,013 as a TCP and then 27,010 and 27,020 on a UDP it'll still say hey this number is still between this other number even though it's a TCP not a UDP 
All right, sorry, so the recording stopped midway. Ignore the watermark. So where was I? Okay, so yeah, so if you put a number that it, it falls within another number, even though they're TCP or UDP, you're gonna have to basically create a bigger range, you know? You're gonna have to use the lowest number and the biggest number and try to use TCP and UDP, for example. Um, but that's basically it. If you have a different solution, I always welcome it. Put it in the comments below. Um, like I said, like and subscribe. I'll try to reply to any comments if I can. Um, but yeah, it's with this type of deal, Call of Duty, you're gonna have to basically fix it. And then next thing you know, it's, go ba it's going back to strict and blah, blah, blah. I talked to my internet provider. They literally went step by step with with me and they everything that I just mentioned right now, except the Windows Defender Firewall, they went over, you know, and they actually did it for me and nothing worked. So they said basically on my part, it's, it's not my fault. It's something to do with Call of Duty because it's true. Other games, I'll have an open port and with this one, I'll be strict. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm super tired and uh, I already did, did this like three times. The audio didn't go right. Um, but anyways, good luck. If you find a different solution, let me know. Um, like I said, it worked for me for a week. Got it at the season six update or whatever. And then bam, back to strict. Um, I think that's it. If you have Cox as well, make sure that your advanced security is turned off because your ports won't be able to work. Make sure you restart your router whenever you open new ports. Um, that's it. All right, thanks for watching. See you next time. If there's any new updates, I'll go ahead and put it in the description box or comments. Uh, make sure to check out my social media. Like I said, I'm not too active because I'm hella busy. But all right, see you next time and good luck.